So we're going to be making some legend anthology videos or whatever this event is called time skip time jump videos because I realized while creating content, setting up my schedule and also getting my content approved so that I can release this book for y'all on Amazon, that this event is going to be temporary and going to go away. And I'm not going to get a chance to get in there like this for a really long time since Konami doesn't make these events permanent. So I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of that, have some fun playing this deck, and I hope y'all enjoy the shenanigans. In case you missed it, my boys, I actually did a live stream of this. I'm live streaming Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 10 a.m. Uh, or 10.30 a.m. up until whenever. So please feel free to like, subscribe, and check out that live stream, my boy. We're drawing on the first turn because in 2004, that's what we did. We're going to take Vengeful Vogue Spirit, the one of card in this deck that shouldn't be drawn on the first turn by any means we also have drawn our win condition so this game is already over and our opponent is going to be crying so we're going to activate vengeful bog spirit and set golem sentry because our opponent can't attack on the first turn they set or summon a monster or flip summon a monster or summon a monster that's going to mean i'm going to have advantage with golem sentry also i'm not going to be able to attack but it's gonna let me accumulate resources until I'm able to overtake my opponent. So this is gonna be a pretty interesting match. Oh no, the noble man of Crossout. We're gonna stop that with Solemn Judgment. He didn't play Heavy Storm or MST. He ain't got it, Solemn Judgment. Cause if he had it, he would have played it. We're playing 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh. We will Solemn your Crossout. So go ahead and summon a monster past turn or set a monster past turn. Cause that's all you can do. <laughs> <laughs> y'all want this Yu-Gi-Oh? Is this the Yu-Gi-Oh y'all really want? Oh my God, he's a scammer as well. All right, well, since he's a scammer, we're going to have to play his game. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be fun. He's a scammer. I've already reduced my life points by half. He's probably running burn too, so not going to be fun. So we're going to start by flipping over our Golem Sentry. Golem Sentry's effect with level limit area B changes us to defense position. Return that card to your hand, please, sir. Gravity Bind, very good. So it looks like Konami has put all the animals in the same pen. Unfortunately, that includes me. <laughs> and he's out of here. Looks like I'm the better beast. All right, my boys, it's never any fun when two burn decks come up against each other, but let's see if we can find another opponent that isn't running burn. We're gonna go ahead and ruin Marina's day. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to go second, so we're going to get an opportunity to see what they got going on and then also lay our cards out. But he's going to go ahead and get, or she's going to go ahead and get a chance to draw one card. And that's going to be sucky, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. All right, this is a pretty good hand. Um, not the best hand, but, you know, going second, we've got Secret Barrel, which is really good, and then we've got Spirit Reaper, which is also really good. Upstart Goblin. I could use a 1,000 of those things. Why not? I pay life points. He just paid for like 10 turns of Messenger of Peace. I hope he knows that. He doesn't know that. And a set card face down. And another set. And another set. And another set. God damn. Is this a burn deck too? Dutto. Ooh, he's about to catch that secret though. He's going to learn the secret though. Anti-spell fragrance. That's fine by me, I suppose. I mean, I can't play Vengeful Bog Spirit, but that's like, you know, it's an anti-spell fragrance, like, what the? Anti-spell fragrance, that's kind of funny, but you know, it's a relevant card. Don't hate on it. Creature Swap, can't play Change of Heart, can't play Cross Out, can't play MST. He could have Heavy Storm and MST set. He could be going ham, but he's not. He's not a madman, he's no genius. He doesn't know what's going on. I'm playing this burn in 2004. He's about to get cooked up. Oh, we've got the cookers. We've got so many cookers here. All right, so cook one, uh, cook two, and we're going to end our turn. Yeah, so now he's not going to be able to attack. That gives our stealth bird our turn we need so that we can flip it for damage. So we're going to flip for a G, give him a G. Then we're going to give him the lava G. And then he's not going to be able to attack with the G. Because we've got, you know, well, no, he can attack with the G for sure. So maybe we won't give him Lava G. 
Maybe we'll just attack him with the rabbit or set the koala. Let's see what we get. Draw. Ooh, punishment. All right. So we, I guess we're going to be drawing cards. So first off, take a thousand. Don't even think about it. Just take a thousand. Don't worry about it. Just take a G. Just take it. You can afford it. You got plenty of life points. Go ahead and put our boy face down. Set another. End our turn. We don't care about your anti-spell fragrance, boy. <laughs> this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Y'all want it, man. Y'all want this 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh! Catch these 2004 hands, man. It's all about that vengeful bulk spirit. It's all about my flip, my boy. I don't care what you just played. Secret Barrel. I want to go ahead and get some damage for each card before you go send the stuff in the grave. Secret Barrel gives me 200 of them things for each card. Mm, 18. Very nice. Go ahead and fuse into your most powerful beast so you can end your turn. Ooh. Last warrior from another planet. Last warrior from another planet. Boy, you better. <laughs> hey. Hey. Neither player can summon monsters. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Does that mean I can't flip something? Draw. Let's see. Damn. That means I can't even flip something. This man summoned last warrior from another planet. I can't even flip something. I can only set. He's a mad genius. <laughs> I don't even know. Last warrior. From <laughs> All right. Fuck it, Dan. That's funny. We ain't had to deal with this since 2004. <laughs> he's like, get that stealth bird up out of here. So he's got 35 cards in the deck. So definitely, this is an interesting scenario. So last warrior from another planet, smacking face downs. So is he willing to just swing, swing, swing and do nothing else under Vengeful Vogue? That's weird. Maybe he's willing to do that. Maybe he's willing to go the distance to like 60 fucking turns, 30 fucking turns. Yeah, he'll need to go 30 turns without summoning a monster. And you just get tired of running into these guys. So I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what he does. Yeah. So you know you're going to hit that. So, And he's not going to put in another monster. I can't use a spell card unless I set it first. So gives him a little bit of a lead. I don't really think I have anything for that, per se. I really don't think I have much for that. And there's no point to set monsters. So I don't really know. I don't know what he's going to do. This is a funny little duel course hit record button this is exactly what you run into Ooh. 16 buddy we've got two more of those <laughs> so he's gonna take more damage like like he's not gonna survive past that um ooh. that's actually pretty good put this down yeah, if it ever gets to a point where it gets too hairy, we can always flip that. So that's good. But given that we got other Death Koalas in the deck, we should be fine. That's kind of funny. Last Warrior from another planet. Neither player can summon monsters. Can't even play Lava Golem. That's kind of funny. Anti-Spell Fragrance, Last Warrior from another planet with a bunch of traps. I mean, I guess... I guess that works. But I got Secret Barrel and Dez Koala, so and Ceasefire, so we definitely can get him. He's at 3,600 points, so we can get him. We just got drawn to our cards. And then, yeah, he's attacking face downs recklessly. So he attacks this Marshmallow. He's going to take a G. So it's going to be a lot of, he's going to be taking like a ton of damage along the way. So, so this strategy can't win unless he purely goes for a deck out and just starts passing turns, which he's not going to do because he hasn't shown that that's what he's going to do. I made the assumption that that's what he was going to do when I looked at the decks and saw the, how many cards it was. But his actions are showing me that he's just going to attack everything I set. And maybe not anymore after this, but I'm going to keep setting cards like this. Death Koala, too, because I would have stopped attacking cards a long time ago, went for the deck out because of the Death Koala, but um, won't be doing that anymore. So we'll see what happens. Actually, you know what? Let's throw him off. Let's set a stealth bird so that he attacks it and realizes that everything isn't this unkillable bullshit. And he's like, I better keep attacking. 
you know, or at least test to see if he's still going to keep attacking because, you know, that's what he perceives. He perceives this to be some sort of threat, so he must kill it. You know, he's, I got to make a play. I got to do something. Yeah, see, so stop attacking. So now he's just going to take some secret barrel damage and die supremely when I get it. Ooh, that's another good card. So this is another good flip guy to kill him. And then all we got to do, all we got to do is draw into the secret barrel or um, uh, uh, ceasefire. And then it's GG time. And then that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, <laughs> 14, 16, uh, 18, 26. <laughs> as soon as we draw secret barrel, it's over. <laughs> it's going to be 26 on secret barrel. Draw. Seize fire. Let me see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. <laughs> Let me set this rabbit for him. Let me set this gravity bomb for him. Let me set the ceasefire for him. Let's end this turn. He about to get cooked right here. I'm going to cook him on my draw, though. Or or if he activates something. Actually, no. I'll cook him right here in this draw phase. Uh, die. If he plays Solemn Judgment, he's definitely going to lose. Seven tools of the bandit, you're definitely going to lose. Any life point cost, you're out of here. Unless he's got three of those down. Unless he's got three of those bad babies down there. He's got to have three of those bad babies. 1,300 of those things. All right, let's go. So now I'll wait till I have two. I'll wait till I have two. Oh, now he's going to start attacking stuff because now he's scared. <laughs> okay, never mind. Maybe not. Okay, so I got to make sure I set both secret barrels the next time I do it. So he has to have both solemn judgments because at the end of the day, um, this is what we're dealing with here. This guy, it's kind of funny. Revi rivalry of warlords. Okay. I can only have fairies, I guess. All right. I guess I can only have fairy monsters. So, but my face downs remain. So he's not going to be swinging at the, I mean, his, he's got a nice combo. Don't get me wrong. But he's not gonna be swinging at these face downs. He can't summon any monsters. Like what is like I, I how like what's going on here? Like you're <laughs> that has to be it has to be two solemn face down. If it's not two solemn face down, then GG. Draw. Lava golem, okay. It's fine. Yeah, if it's not two solemn face down, it's just fucking GG. We just gotta wait till we get it. Because he can't get his traps off the board. So even if it's not two solemn face down, you know what I'm saying? So he's just in a funny spot. Three, 1,300 life points, not willing to scoop off nine Gs. Still thinks he can win. This is a burn deck. I'm going to get that 1,300 life points. That's easy money for me. Draw. Oh, there's my solemn judgment. So I'm going to win now. All right. So let's wait until we get our uh, card. So when we get our secret barrel. We can hit him with secret barrel solemn judgment for game. He'd have to have double solemn. If he has double solemn, then he can survive secret barrel solemn judgment. Then I can hit him with the second secret barrel. So either way, I'm just going to draw two secret barrels. And I hate that Konami set me up with two burn guys. Like, come on, Konami, try harder. Like you, you see, like you, you, like Konami's like, look at this guy. Like, look at this guy. He's, he's playing last warrior. And this guy's playing burn. Put these animals together. <laughs> Make those animals fight. <laughs> Konami. Oh, Konami. Never ever put me in the cage with another do list. Just desserts. <laughs> A little burn action. <laughs> Just desserts. <laughs> he, I can't believe he's willing to go like 60 turns with me, man. I can't believe you're willing to do this. It's your last warrior from another planet scam. I can't wait to take your life, my boy, with the secret barrel. I can't wait to get you. I can't wait to get you. Oh, oh now he's going for deck out, but he's not going to get it. Because it has to be two solemns face down, like I said before. Two solemns and a secret barrel. Oh, no, this is just random junk. This is just random junk. You see what he's discarding? Red eyes, black dragon. 
<laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> it's a random fusion deck with crap in it. So it's like, sure, okay, whatever. He just ran a random junk in there, so he's just gonna lose. It's gonna be fine. Cause he's in the he's in the dilliest of a pickle. Like he literally can't get out of this. He's not gonna heavy storm his own board because he can't do it. He definitely doesn't play monarchs because he can't summon it. He can't put lava golem on me or nothing because of this guy. Ooh, double solemn. So definitely gonna make him lose now. So I'm gonna probably pop that threatening roar and set double solemn and get ready to win this duel. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna pop that threatening roar. Um. And then set double solemn. Ooh, summon skull. This guy's just random fusion deck with last warrior. That's lame. This is lame too, but don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's a different kind of lame though. I'll be throwing away this gravity bind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He could be like, Saber Gekki right now, but he ain't got it. Look at all these cards. Oh, this barrel is not going to be a secret. This barrel is not going to be a secret. This barrel is not going to be a secret. Where is the secret barrel? I am not playing with you. Where's the secret barrel? Only got one of them? You're kidding me. Come on. This barrel is not going to be secret. This man must be capped. Come on. Got to send away the death of Koda. He's going to switch to this deck after this. He's going to be like, damn, uh, maybe I could have been clapping with this deck. <laughs> In my turn, dog, you are not going to deck me out. You think you're going to do it, but you're not going to do it. He thinks he's going to do it, but he's not. Dado. Finally. Thank you. Though. Thank God. All right. Let's 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 clean him up really nice. We're going to go ahead and set one. We're going to go ahead and set two. And we're going to get in our turn. Get ready to lose, brother. Da, 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 da. All right, threatening roar. No battle. Not like you were going to fight me anyway. Not like you were going to try. You can't do it. You weren't going to try anyway. That's right. In that turn for me. Now it's time to draw three cards for game. Time to draw that secret barrel for game. Dodo. Come on. Stop playing me. I'm not going to attack you, you maniac. Wait, why can't I activate Pot of Greed? Huh? Oh, anti-spell fragrance. Oh. <laughs> Do list. You have a remarkable skill. Straight up was like, huh? Couldn't believe it. Now he now this is the question. Did he draw solemn judgment? Does he have solemn judgment? Does he end a turn by setting one card face down? I mean, boy, tribute for set? What are you doing? What are you gonna do? Book of Moonness? Tribute for set? What are you doing exactly? You absolute mad lad. You cannot attack. You have to know this is over. You got to know. He's got to know. That all. The part of greed. I'm drawing two cards. Thank you. Die? <laughs> Goodbye, Lava Golem. Cotton, Cotton, Cotton. Secret no Perun. Rest in peace, you degenerate. 